Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone watching. I am so late, it's not even funny. It's getting beyond a joke. Also, got up at six this morning, so literally, well, I know why I'm late, because we've got the busiest week in history and it's super exciting. Uh, I feel like I can probably tell you about that in a second. Anyway, just gonna pop my water and some socks in the lorry. Mum came around with a scowl on her face then, realised I was filming and suddenly put a smile on. Honestly, guys, this camera is my defence mechanism for not getting shouted at. Anyway, enjoy the vlog. We're taking Dora show jumping! One of these days, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna learn how to actually be on time. All oh, my lovely brushes are in the L'Oreal competing. I bought one, do not fear. God, that flicked hair across my face. Anyway, exciting day. So you will have recently seen a video of Dora doing her first grid session, jumping. And today she's going for her first school hire. So we're going over to a local venue to hire some show jumps out and do fillers for the first time because she's never jumped any fillers. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna give her a quick brush over and then we'll pop her on the lorry. I have got a beautiful webbed head collar sent from Glaze and Gordon, which I'm so excited to try. It's like half leather, half this kind of woven material, as you can see there. Absolutely stunning. Got that really cute little logo there. And we've got a matching rope. I do often try to travel them in leather or half leather head collars because obviously leather is slightly more likely to break if they suddenly pull back or get caught whereas those nylon ones just do not break. So really excited to try this out. Very smart and lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna give her a quick brush and then get her loaded up. Okay, we're just about to load up but I have to show you this on. And also look, it's got that little stopper on the rope which is really nice. How gorgeous does she look in this head collar? You're so pretty. You excited, Dodo? She says, not really. Don't really want to go in the box. Good girl. Come on, Good then, girl. Baby. She says, I don't know if I want to go on my own, thank Come you. On. Good girl. Oh, well done. You went in a different box the other day, didn't you? Come here. With your friend Jamie. Move your bottom over. Come, Come on, on Sadie. Good girl. Good girl. Well done, darling. Girl. Come on, I'm going to explore. I think have a little play, a little party. Oh, I want to go to parties, let me out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it. So we're off to Allen's Hill Equestrian Centre, which is a local venue near to us. You guys will have been there before if you've watched other videos. Um, they do like BSGA and dressage there. So they've got a lovely big arena with lots of show jumps and lots of spooky fillers. So we're taking Dora and this is her second ever outing since we've had her. Which is pretty shocking really, which is uh, appalling. Um, unless you count her trip to the vets. <laughs> but you don't really count that. Um, last week we took her out hacking across Clee Hill with a friend. So that was fun, she was really, really good. But she went with Jam, so this is like her first solo outing. But she's literally been so good. Like, she did a couple of whinnies. She's just been chilling back there, isn't she? You can see her in the camera, yeah. traveling like an absolute dream, so that's good. Uh, but she's never been out to do like show jumping or see another arena or anything like that, so a bit worried. And might obviously, be exciting. Yeah, it might be exciting. I'm very concerned that I'm gonna fall off and I've got the busiest week planned. No, you're not. You're just gonna do very calm stuff. Ever. You guys probably know by now, because this should come out after there's been spoilers on Instagram, so make sure you're following on Instagram. But the girls and I, like the vlogging girls and I, are off to do an eventing camp, which is being filmed by Horse and Country TV. So there's like a four or five part series wow. of yeah, crazy um, of this camp, and then we're also vlogging it. So they're kind of doing like a behind the scenes of what it's like to be a vlogger. So cool. Anyway, that's really exciting. So I literally have made a big mistake, personally. Loving you then. Oh, you don't want to do any of the riding, Mum. It's an eventing camp. There's going to be lots of hey, jumping and stuff. I've done jumping. Jump D, Christmas. Well, it's not too late. I'll ring Jenny and say, can Mum pop D on the lorry? <laughs> T 
Tina and Emma arriving in a few hours. I don't know why, I've literally got the busiest day and then I was just like, right, we're taking Dora show jumping. But I just needed to get done. Yes, yeah, so they're arriving this afternoon and I've got to pack this lorry that we're currently in with all of Jam stuff and all of my stuff. I need to buy some food. I've just got a million things to do. I need to reply to about a million brands because I've just been lazy over the weekend. Well, we're eventing. Anyway, I'm literally just venting to you guys. We're excited to go show jumping. Yes. Mum especially, as you can see there. Gleefy, gleefully smiling away. Um, but we'll catch up with you when we're there and let you know what I'm gonna do with the youngsters. For anyone that doesn't know Dora, she is a five-year-old Connemara mare. We got her over from Ireland last year and she is green as grass. She's done very little jumping. I reckon this is her sixth time jumping wow. in her life. So let's see how it goes. See you there, guys. Bye. Woo! Yay, those show jumps are far too big for us. <laughs> Absolutely not. Turn around, we're going home. Oh no. Hello. Hello. There's no other ponies here, Dor Dor. <laughs> you poor girl. <laughs> it is empty. And there's also Mahoosive show jumps. <laughs> so certainly going to have to get Hobbs to uh, put them down substantially. Well, you don't see this very often, kids. Mum actually unloading a horse. Good girl. Might be because Dora's technically completely mum's. Good girl. Did you bring your hat, Mum, to get on? My number one rider. Oh, who's that? Good girl. <laughs> Mum's wanted off. We've uh, got a gentleman doing some landscaping in the background with a strimmer, you know, preparing for the Chelsea Flower Show. And Dora's not a big fan. So she's got a saddle on and Mum has taken her off into the arena, which is just behind me. Can you see Dora? Probably not, um, and I'm gonna take her bridle over here, to pop it on. I mean, she would have been fine, but mum was just panicking because there's a main road that like you, the horses can get out onto. So we thought we'd get her in an enclosed space to take her head collar off just in case. Anyway, welcome to lovely Allen's Hill. Look, the arena has been beautifully harrowed for us. And yeah, I'm gonna go around and put a lot of these jumps down. In fact, I might go and do that whilst mum's walking her around because that's quite good desensitization for Dora. And that way, poor Hobbit doesn't have to be run too ragged. Right, bridled pony. Hobbs is just gonna walk her around. Do a bit of arena desensitization. And I'm gonna pop some of these jumps down because at the moment we've got a novice track and that is not what we wanna be jumping. <laughs> I mean, being obvious, guys, about 110. Okay, I've got them back down to uh, baby height, as you can see. We've got little jumpies around us. There's a couple left that Hobbit's gonna do. I'm gonna hop on, get to trotting around. You all right, Dodo? Yes. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> okay. Woo. Thank you, hop on. You look really good. Dora's really good as gold. Had to leg Meg up, which she's not really used yeah, to. she's never really had a leg up before, but she's no. stood like a rock. And she doesn't feel at all, like she doesn't feel like her back's up or anything like that. She's a chilled little bean. Oh, good. We'll trot round Dora. Yeah. Do some of these little junkies. This is so <laughs> She doesn't quite happy just walking and looking. I feel so bad that there's literally not another horse inside for her, but oh well. Come on, remember forwards. I hope we're not jumping these. <laughs>
Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, well done. oh, she's so cute. Her first little jump away from home. I was going to say her first ever jump off of the premises. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, I think I could put Winnie the Pooh in a bit. Good girl. Good girl. Good, bless her. Yes, she was like, what is that? Good girl. Super. <laughs> the arms just make me ride so weirdly. Like you go really exuberant with your arms because you're just desperate to not yank them. <laughs> well done. Shall I put a little pole on top of that one in the plank? I think it might be easier for her to read. Good girl. She's doing brilliantly. Well done. Right, her little walk and rest. And I'll put some um, little poles on the top. Super, good girl. Good girl. Oh my god, I'm in love. <laughs> Hiding at Alan's Hill, don't worry. <laughs> then you've just got the oxa to finish. Super! They want the pink oxa. Yeah. Duper. Gosh. Well done. That was really good. I'm tempted to just if you pop that up, trot her through because when she trots in, she's fine in the two strides. I don't want her just to okay. do Just scary. finish on that. I've actually shuffled that in a bit, so hopefully it's a little bit better for her. 
So you know, it's still a bit long. Oh, I think she's been a superstar. Brilliant. I think that will do, don't you? It was still long, wasn't it? <laughs> it might have been because they had a big class on there. Oh, that's true. That's true. I'm going to walk around <laughs> okay. and then we'll catch up in the lorry, guys. Okay. Little spongy sponge before we load her up. Well done, Dor. She's got a gorgeous friend over there, another four-year-old who's just been chatting to. Very lovely people. So he's come for his first ever outing. He's just winning there. He wants to come back. Dory says, I love him. He's my boyfriend, but he's very big. Good girl. Hey, baby. <laughs> Good, girl. Yeah, to go home, Good girl, let's take you home. Come on, Dora. Well done. Well done, sweetheart. Careful. Yeah, she says, where's my boyfriend? <laughs> Where is he? In a nice buckskin. Uh, uh, uh. Careful. Irish sports horse. Yay! Really super duper pony. Yeah, big smiles all round. So we've loaded her up. As you've seen, and we're heading home. Might have sweat patches there. Sorry, guys. It was quite hot there. Ignore that, yeah. Um, oh, it was actually so nice to be taking a baby out jumping again. I've missed it because I haven't done it since jam she was like the last i mean we took millie out last year but obviously millie was older yeah and that's the last time i've had like a baby baby that's done a lot of yeah because like sally nice. and jaffa we didn't get out did we no oh it's so nice i love it it's like it's just completely different to obviously like going out venting with the big ones yeah and you're going right oh, back Eva. to basics we took Eva out she was young oh um, we took i think it was before jam she was she yeah, yeah. Because Jam only started going out last year properly, didn't she? Like Jam's first event was last year. Yeah, but that was the year before. So we, yeah, we took the year before we took the yeah no Ethan would wow. yeah. Why not we? Yeah, but no, I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. But I'm now, you know, trying to persuade <laughs> Mum to keep her because I want to take her to her first event and then the first bigger event. And before we know, it, we've got another grey mare in the stables permanently. <laughs> Anyway, she was an absolute star, like just the most honest little thing ever because she is a little bit delicate, Dora. She's a bit of a flower, isn't she? And she is sensitive. She's soul. a sensitive soul and she gets upset with sudden sort of movements and things like that. And she was just so good there, like she was so brave and you can tell yeah. for her. It's a big thing, wasn't it's it? A big, it's a big yeah, thing. exactly. Going and that other horse, road. yeah, didn't turn up until nearly the end. Yeah. And she was just amazing. She had absolutely everything first time. She had one pole, which was completely distance related. But you can see, if you've watched the other vlog, if you haven't, maybe go back and watch it because the improvement, it's just been nuts. Just a few days. Hasn't it? Yeah. So I did take her back down the grid yesterday a couple of times just to remind her about jumping. So I feel like babies, I quite like doing like, say like jumping three times in 10 days or something and then giving them a bit of a break from it. So I do like this like a sort of intensive course and then they have a break and go away and think and then they come back and they'll do it. Because otherwise I find if you do it like once a week yeah, or like once a fortnight, them, so, yeah. yeah, they almost learn more if you do a little short burst and then a few times reflect. in a shorter space of time. Yeah. yeah. So she's jumped, yeah, one of the times since that last video, but literally she went down it a couple of times and then today, and the improvement is just mad. Like that's why I love doing babies so much because they're just so fun to see how they improve. Um, but yeah, only jumped tiny little fences, but obviously completely working on building confidence and just making Dora think that this is the easiest thing in the world so that when she goes out next time, she comes out being like, oh yeah, I remember this and I was really good at it. Hopefully we'll just build that confidence up and up and up. But we need to get planning what else we can do now and maybe do some little yeah, maybe a little competition. Yeah. Competitions. A little dressage and show jumping competitions which would be fun. And go cross country schooling, but I need to get her a little bit more knowing where her feet is before we do that because obviously solid defences. And we need a little friend, don't we, to yeah. encourage her through the water. Yeah, like <laughs> down the steps and ditches. Oh, Although gosh, yeah. she went when we took her hacking over the hill the other day, she jumped like this natural ditch. That's true. It was quite That's gnarly, cool. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And she jumped those logs, didn't she? Yeah. So she's a good girl. Oh, she's just so cute. I'm so proud of her. Um, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, guys. I know, like, 
it, it feels really exciting for me, but it might not be for you guys watching Tiny Little Jumps, but hopefully it's interesting seeing like how, how we work with the youngsters. And yeah, exactly, and how they progress. Like it was very much just be very, you know, encouraging and make it easy for her today. That's kind of our aim for their Absolutely. first few outings always, isn't it? Yep, encourage them always to say yes. Yeah, exactly. If you make it easy, they never really have a reason to then say no later on and get worried about things. Anyway, it is hot in this cab. I need to get back and clean this lorry out and get it packed for cab. It's very exciting. So I will leave you guys here, but Dora will go back and have a snooze in her stable. But you probably don't see that, it's quite boring content. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you wouldn't mind, guys. I love our little community here, so the more subscribers, the better, and we can just share all these fun stories and I could do my dream job for the rest of my life, please. Um, yeah, we all good? Yep, all Anything good. Anything else to add? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I'm uh, very, very happy with how today went and super pleased with Dora. So see you next time, guys. <laughs> Live, love, love you. Bye. I need to stop saying that. Bye. Bye.